Good evening and welcome back to Timberborn here with our eight hour work shift where we have no food. We are out of food completely, so we need to fix that as a priority. There's our first beaver who is hungry. And I'm gonna basically uh just put down loads of those uh, and make them the highest priority to build and make them a high priority to work in so that our beavers will actually come and uh, hopefully gather some berries at the start of the next uh, day. So another thing I want to do is I want to get up here and break these barriers. I really want to, uh, I think now we're damming up here, it means it's going to take even longer for the water to get around to us. We will sort of counter that because we won't be pumping the water out of here so much. But if, if we get a 14 day drought, this river just doesn't survive. Even if we don't pump a drop out of it, it doesn't survive long enough just not it's not there long enough so we need to fix that we need to to fix a way of doing that so i'm thinking um, as has been suggested by many of you we should go up here and break these dams here and i'm looking at where i want to do it and i'm thinking right here we can build a road like a straight line right here and um, well sort of gonna come off from one of these um and this we're good we can't go this way because the town center cannot get there so we have to bridge across Realistically, I want to go straight from the town centre out, but that would end up here, which may not be a terrible thing. We could actually go from, uh, no, if there's a river there. Uh, so, I don't know. I don't, I don't exactly know which way we're going to go with here. Now, I built this, I can't remember the size of this, this, uh, this field. So, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So, it's exactly right for three beehives. So if I put a road through it, it's not going to help us. Hmm. But I kind of want to put a road through it. Just to help us um, get across. And we'll lose some carrots, but... Nah. So, so how do I want to do this? How do I want to do this? If we come straight out from here, we'd have to move this. Which is not a difficult thing to do. Um, if we get rid of those... And we, we could have just come off this road here, actually. That would have worked as well. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's seven. So if we were to put a road here, if we run a road directly here, and of course, we'll get rid of that one. Put on, and then we'll bridge across here, and then we'll bridge up here. Uh, I'm semi giving up on blowing up this uh, here. Although once we get over to here, we don't have to worry too much about um, uh, staying over here. We just need to get over here and do things. Uh, I'm also not even going to chop down the trees. I'm just going to literally ruin them. Just get rid of them like this. Um, I want to go in a straight, is, as straight as possible line and then turn to go up here. Uh, simply so that this can get the best reach it can. I don't know if it can reach all the way over here. It's, it's a bit much. But um, but we will we will see. So mark resource demolition there. We'll build a road down here. We need to build across here. Um, I do want to build across here as well rather than go down and up again because the stairs require a wound. Um, that's in the wrong place. There we go. That's better. Uh, stairs, stairs use an extra um, distance block, is the best way to describe it. Uh, if I do that, that takes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to get across there. If I go down the stairs and up the stairs, it will take five, it will take seven plus two, because it's an extra one to go down, an extra one to come up. So it will take 11 squares across there, meaning the distance from our district is even shorter. So we don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. This is going to be awkward anyway, because we need to build stairs up to here. Um, and then we need to build a staircase here. And then... We need to go up and down into here. And I'm not sure the range that we're going to have here. So I'm going to leave that for a moment. And uh, see... Oh, don't need the path on the leaf there. Let's just see um, where we can get to here. Because uh, if we don't get to here, I want to build this way. And then just put a stair down there. And hopefully that can reach it. If we can get further, I might build up here. Although that is three high. So I need to basically go here. I'm kind of limited to where I can actually move. Yeah, that, that's going to be it. That's going to be where we've got to go. That's kind of, kind of it. 
and we'll see. What I may do as well is just literally put a town center up here. Um, to get the reach to do the things we do there. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. So, okie dokie. Uh, I also want to prioritize some things here. Um, uh, let's prioritize that. That. All that. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is build these uh, green things over here. We're going to stop down construction for a moment and build elsewhere, but that's fine. We have, we have the uh, capability to do that. Uh, I've still got one workplace that is not the vacancy. Probably in here now, yeah. That's okay. But they'll build those and then more people will come from the haulers to here. I'm hoping they can get them built nice and quick. So that we can at least get a couple of days of people just grabbing berries. Well, a couple of hours I should say. Um, we've got a long time to go for these to, to go here. Oh, we also need to build a new farm. Uh, yeah. But we'll face it that way. No, we won't. We can't face it that way. We've got to face it that way, which means it's kind of facing the wrong direction, but whatever. Okay, so yeah, so they're all gathering berries. Okay, so maybe crisis averted. Maybe the berries will just tie us over enough to keep us alive whilst we wait for the carrots to grow we've still got three days left before carrots grow any of these carrots grow i think that's going to be like the yeah these are all the most most progressed ones so uh, so on that note as well let's unlock our print paper mill and we'll slap that up here and we'll make this like the lowest priority don't worry about building it but we will want it we do want it um so that we can get some paper and then when we get some paper we can get our beehives going which will overall help growing we're just going to lose a little bit here if we're going on there but once this is actually built and we're up here we might be able to figure out a better way to get around to it and then we can replant them in the future right now i'm just trying to do my best to get up there as soon as i possibly can uh, so yeah okay then i'll let this go and uh, we'll be back when it's done. They're not going to chop them down until they've built things first. Um, this is actually the, a lower priority to destroy things rather than build things. So I may have to up the priority on that as well, actually. Now I think about it. Hold on. So they'll build these first and then they're going to destroy these. And uh, we will be hopefully good to go. They're still going up there and building things, which is weird. Oh, yeah, because only one beaver can work here at once. So the other beavers going up there. That makes sense. That makes sense. That's fine. That's fine. You do you. We'll be good. We've got water. Uh, we've got nine berries, which is not enough. If we have like one beaver down there, so it's going to be touch and go. We are going to lose some beavers to to um, starvation. Uh, they're all going on a special brand new diet, um, and it'll be good for them. They'll 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 they'll, they'll come out the other side a stronger and better beaver than before. Okay, so a few days have passed and our carrots have grown. We absolutely decimated the brave field. I'm very glad I didn't destroy that. I, I at one point was like, I might just get rid of that so we can use the space to put crops in. Very glad I didn't. I'm very glad I left it because, uh, wow. Um, yeah, we are we are harvesting crops. Um, you are let's see, to harvest as well. Um, harvesting crops. I've got rid of the berries up there so they're not going there. Um, we I did up the priority of the district so we can carry on building things because that's still going to be important for us. Uh, other than that, our trees I think have dropped down. <laughs> yeah, all our all our tree lumber. Let's let's look in here. Let me see where I've got things correct here. So let's go to workplaces. So district center is a me high priority. Uh, farmhouses are all high priority. That's good. Foresters are normal. Gatherer is high. Gear workshop is normal. Gatherer can actually be stopped for a moment. No, nothing to gather there. Gear workshop is normal. The grill should be high. All four of them should be high. Although, we might get rid of those. I don't know if we need four grills. Hmm. Yeah, we might actually just get rid of those two. I do like the, the game pauses, but you can still move around and do things. And it, it I like that. 
I, I might leave them in there and change them to spader lock and then maybe we can plant spader lock in here. Or would that be a terrible thing? Especially now we've got access over here. We could we could do the other side. Put a farm in and uh, do good spader lock. That's not a bad plan. We've got we've already got the stuff there, right? We do know beehives work underwater as well. So yeah, yeah. Uh, holding post is the lowest priority, inventors the lowest priority. Uh, lumber mill should both be low priority. Lumberjack flag should all be low priority. Paper mill will be low priority when it's done. Power wheels are low priority. Um, water pumps should be maximum priority. I don't know why some of them are not set to that. Uh, what's this? No one employed beavers in district. Okay. Um, in fact, what I might do is uh, set these to not be really high priority just be a high effect do you know what do you know what i'm gonna set these to be normal and i think about it let's set all these ones to be normal okay because we do want to pump out of here um when we do things but we've got the pumps here filling up the water and things so it's not bad and we can always rearrange the priorities if another dry season hits early we can just turn them all on and fill up although we aren't filling up right now water because we have lots of beavers dead, so problems. So another drought approaches. We had 18 days of uh, wet weather, temperate weather, and we're gonna get come on, come on. Eight days. Eight days is not so bad. Eight days is good. Eight days is good. We are not up to our 66 beavers, but I'm gonna calculate it for 66 beavers anyway. Um, we need a thousand water. We've got half that and we still can pump out stuff here. So we're good. We do have our large water tank done, which I have prioritized by haulers. So that haulers will actually go and move water into this tank. So we have it all in one large place. I feel like that's going to be a better idea. Probably shouldn't put it there. Put it should down here, but um, I think we're good. I think we're good. Food is, is rising again. Yep. So when we get to four days, I'm going to stop all the pumps so we don't drop everything going on here. But speaking of uh, drying stuff, uh, running along here, you can see this is really good. This is actually way further range than I expected to reach. So I am happy. We're going to be able to get on top of these nice easy. We can run across here. I could go down in the water and then do it that way. Um, or we could probably just do it from the top to remove that one, then that one, then that one, then that one. In that order, so the be because beavers can walk on top of these. So we can remove that one, then the next one, then the next one. Um, I might just build a, a stair down here. That way I can just say demolish the lot and not worry about beavers getting trapped. Because they do that. They do that. Beavers are not smart. Uh, but this is really good because it means we've got all this land up here which will become fertile. Which is fantastic. I really like that. We're going to dam off across here as well. Uh, so that the water stays in here as well. I think that would be a good idea. And then we've got more, more fertile land. Which would be fantastic. We should start doing that actually. Um, uh, we've got a levee there and dam there. That work. Levee there and then a bit three dams, and then the water can pour into here and down. It just pushes the water that side. Not that it matters because we're not going to put any wheels up here. We might put wheels up here. Um, so I kind of, yeah, I think if we levy three and then down three, like that, we'll push the water to that side because the water will want to flow, it always wants to flow the shortest direction, so it will flow down here, it will go straight in the line like that, and then it will normally go around here, but we'll push it out to that side. No, it matters. I don't think it matters. I could put all dams in there. It wouldn't matter. Um, I could put two dams in there. Uh, whatever. It doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. We'll do, we'll do it like that. We'll do three over there. And if we want to put anything on this side, like a wheel, we can put a wheel in there, two wheels in there, and then that would power something over here if we wanted to. Who knows? Who knows? Um, so this is done here. Let's build down here and let's make that a priority. And let's see, where did the town centre get to? Do -do -do -do. Oh, yes. Oh, easily. Easily. I was concerned we wouldn't make it, but I suppose we're okay. I suppose we're okay. I mean, we could down over here as well. We'd force the water down this way first. Then off the map. We could redirect this whole. We could just block this off and redirect the flow this way. So, uh, 
we have options. Many, many options. Which I'm happy with. Happy, happy, happy. We just have to survive this drought, this eight day drought, which uh, I don't think is going to be difficult. It's a nice drought, as, as nice as droughts can be. Um, providing we get uh, to like day five, I think, the, the dawn of day five, if we've still got 600 ish water, I will turn the pumps off. Uh, we can always turn them back on again towards the end. I just don't want to dry the river up, causing our crops to die. I want to keep the cycle of the crops going. So that's a thing. And then we're also going to get this built, which is actually is on its way. Anyway, it does require gears. It's not going to gears for a long, long time. Uh, because this is still somehow getting 90 horsepower from water that isn't flowing. It's doing the whole swirly thing, which is really bizarre, but eh, whatever. It's fine. Fine. Free power is free power. Beavers can crack perpetual motion, then perhaps we won't have the next calamity. Uh, beaver kind will go off into the stars. Stairs are complete. We've made it to the top. Let's destroy all of these. Uh, also, uh, I've had an observation. Had an observation? Made an observation. Um, all these tanks are set to uh, desired of zero. So they shouldn't want any water. Now I know when a worker wants to empty goods from their storage, from their own pump, uh, in this case, they will just go to the nearest storage and dump it off. They don't care whether it desires it or not, they will just go to the nearest one and dump it off so they can get back to work and carry on. That's why putting a little storage next to uh, pumps can be useful, um, because then they can do that and then you can have your larger storage elsewhere and the haulers move things back and forward. However, I did notice haulers doing the same thing. Haulers were going into the pumps, picking up the water, and putting it into here. And then got off and doing whatever. And then later they'll come back and pick it up and move it here. So maybe when they're taking from a building, they just go to the nearest one. And then they prioritize buildings based on what you're doing. So they're prioritizing this building. But the priority isn't for putting water in it's for taking water out. So they will empty this one before this one if they were both next to each other and this one was prioritized and that one wasn't. Kind of a guess that second part there for me. It's just odd that I've noticed that they don't, I thought then what would happen, the haulers would grab the water from the pumps and walk all the way over here and drop it in here. But it seems like they just go to the nearest place. So maybe prioritize is for pick up and not drop off, which is fine, which is absolutely fine. Um, all of these are set to desired zero. So uh, the haulers will eventually come in, grab them, and then they'll put them over here, which desires water. Uh, that one desires water, and this one desires water. Um, all these don't. Uh, so we've got I've got water dotted around in the places, but I just thought I'd share that. Um, has anyone else had any uh, insights into how the delivery system actually works? Because, as I said, you see here, he's just come out. He's the worker that works at the pump. Uh, his pump was full, so he's now taking uh, six water. And he's going to dump it in there because that's the nearest empty water tank. He's not going over here where it actually desires the water because that's for haulers. This this desirement is for the haulers to come and dump stuff in here. So yeah, you're going to do the same. But uh, yeah, and even when haulers go into places, what do you do? You are carrying a log for some reason. You've prioritised logs over something else. I don't know why. And it is weird that don't they don't. Oh, there you go. So he's going to pick up some. I was going to take a drink of water. And you're off shift now, so you're not going to work anymore. That's fine. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Get some food. It's weird, because I honestly thought that when you prioritise things, then it would make the haulers go, hey, we need to do that. We need to fill this building or empty this building. But it appears the priority is only for picking up, not dropping off. Anyway, um, now I have observed that. And, uh... Really? Really? Can we prioritise destroying that block? Maybe he'll drop down. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe he'll just get pushed across to the end. I don't know how that's going to work. Uh, in fact, can we prioritise doing the other blocks first? And then we do that block last. And then that way he'll... Um, won't be able to teleport across. He'll just have to fall down. Maybe. Oh dear. Beavers, beavers, beavers. Foolish, foolish beavers. So let's pause the pumps. Because we are good for this now. Pause, pause, pause. Pause. Just click them and press P on the keyboard. Pause. Okay. 
all the pumps can be paused. We don't want to pump any more water out of here. We want to keep the water here to keep our crops going. Uh, you have no more to do in range. That's fine. We can get rid of you. We do want to get rid of this trees here, but I couldn't get up here to do it because of uh, we needed the stairs, the verticality of the stairs going up there. So, hmm. Uh, Maybe we should, I should have just put up there and left him there, I think that would have made sense. Ah, we've got plenty of trees. Trees are good. Trees are fine. I think it's just a case, again, of waiting for the drought to be over, um, and then just waiting for this to be built. We've got to wait for this to be built, which is more gears, and then this to be built, which is more gears, and then we can get on to the next stage of things. But once we can store vast amounts of water, we'll be good. We also have a big reservoir here now. It goes all the way back to here. Oh, wow. I didn't realize it goes that far. I thought it went to right here. That's cool. Um, so we could set up a system up here to pump out as well. Um, and by system, I mean just some pumps. We just to get up there. What have we got? Look at this here. How does that work? Uh, not so bad. What I want to do is I want to go down. Yeah, so let's, let's see here. Let's see here. Let's, uh, let's plan ahead, shall we? So what if we want to go loads of pumps? Uh, now, we are folk tales, so we can only pump pump out water too deep we're not the iron teeth we can't go six deep so we're going to leave loads of water in this reservoir which can't do anything we can't do anything with but yeah that's just going to be the way it is um but that's fine i could i could have made the dam way smaller than it currently was and uh yeah but um ah we can always go down and platform into the reservoir and put in pumps down there as well that is a way of doing things Especially with the new priority system, because you could have the pumps that are in the water as a high priority. So when they become available, the beavers will go to them and abandon the ones that are above. So we'll try that. We'll try that. Let's uh, mark um, those for demolition. And uh, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. So you can get up there. You can build that. That's good. Uh, I want to kind of prioritize those. Uh, how are we doing up here? Did the beaver get unstranded? Did he die? Nugan died of age. I didn't see what he died of thirst. I didn't see what his name was. So he probably died of thirst, unfortunately. He got he got trapped. Oh well. That's that's what you get for being a dumb beaver and uh not not a not go to the bomb. But oh well, oh well, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Uh we got two days of water, we got two hundred and forty water, two days left. I think we're good. I think we're good. I think everything is good, everything is awesome. We'll clear this. We'll see how far. This should be fine. I could always go like up here, uh, cut the edge off here, or we could go like along here and get up there as well. No reason why we couldn't do do like this, which may be an even better way of doing it, actually. Maybe. Yeah, see that reaches, but that's going around and back again. So that path will make it even shorter for us, which is awesome. Which is awesome. And then, then because these ones currently can't actually be accessed by our town centre, they're out of range. So we definitely want that. And then we want more water storage up here as well, which is set to desired zero. And then our haulers can bring stuff down, which means we're going to need more haulers. And to get more haulers, we need more beavers. So I really need to wait until we can get loads of gears in stock. We want gears. Gears are a big thing right now. We want loads of gears so that we can build this. We can build that. Uh, and then once we get the paper, we can get the food. And then the food will speed up everything for us because we'll get a bigger influx of food. Food is not a problem right now anyway. Uh, oh, I did turn that back on. I'll turn that off again. I want to just fill it up with 20, uh, 20 berries. So we had a little stock. Uh, yeah, food's not so bad. Food is, is obviously filling up. The only reason it stopped was because our river dried up. Um, this will give us access to more water, which is good. This will now flow. The water will split here and come down. So this reservoir here will fill quicker. And it will fill back into here and out here. I'm hoping that these two inputs are still okay for these outputs here. If not, we'll have problems, but we'll figure it out. Um, I have limited it to only three there, so it may flood up here. I don't know. Um, if it does, we'll have to do something up here to limit the flow, but 
It's okay. It's okay. It's all okay. Let's see what the next day is going to bring. Let's re-enable our pumps because we are out of water. So apologies for the abrupt end here, but time has crept off me. So I should say thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this one. I hope to see you again in the next one. And until then, as always, have fun.